Hey, low carb family, how are you doing today? I'm just gonna try a little something different and see if I can just catch a little video here and there and put them all together for you guys. I feel like I haven't been present much lately. Uh, there's just been a lot going on in life and um, I've had a hard time finding time to even make a video. Um, I just am doing the best I can here. And um, so I just wanted to fill you in on a little bit well, for one thing, um, I debated on even making a video um, because I felt like some might view it as as just me complaining about things. And um, but then I thought um, there could be some who can relate and could maybe gain something or appreciate hearing uh, what's going on. So um, so I'm not coming at this from a place of I want anybody to feel sorry for me or anything like that. Um, I am just here to just share my story because as my channel states it is a journey. This is Sherry on a low carb journey and this journey is going to be for the rest of my life and with life comes a lot of stuff. Um, but I want to say first of all that before I get into a little bit of the things going on, um, I just want to say none of it, absolutely none of it, compares to what a lot of other people are dealing with right now. Um, the hurricanes have been horrible, and this is, let's see, this is Wednesday, and it's, you know, it's due to hit again in Florida, so uh, many, many prayers for those people, and I know that there's a lot of people dealing with a lot of things. And that's kind of why I decided to go ahead and make this video because I know that I'm not alone and I want you to know you're not alone. So just a little bit of what's been going on. Um, it's just major stress and it's not just one or two stressors but it's like a, a handful or more of stressors all piled on top of one another that are continuous daily, weekly, monthly, even even yearly uh, so um, that's kind of where I've been I um, so that's why I haven't been making as many videos lately a little bit of um, tell you a little bit about some stuff September 26 my son was leaving school and got into a car accident he was not at fault he was in um, a six car accident and he was kind of sandwiched in the middle of all of them and um, so you know been doing dealing with that with that obviously comes the fact of you're down a vehicle and when you're already financially struggling being down another vehicle uh, when I got to go to work and he's got school and work uh, so you know a lot of stress came with that just trying to get things figured so, you know, he is driving my car right now. I am sitting in this really nice rental car right now that I wish I could keep, but I can't because it's way too nice. But, um, so then there's the stress of trying to find a new vehicle with the money you can get from your insurance company. Our, our other car was a total loss. Um, so then trying to find another vehicle uh, to get him in just it's got to be good enough for school and work um, he graduates you know in in May and um, you know he'll get a full-time job get more money and he can get his own car but until then you know I've got the stress of trying to make sure he's got trans transportation especially with him having a job if it was just school you know the school bus would be fine he could catch a bus and, and go to school uh, but you know he's also got a job that he has been doing really well at and wants to you know get to so um, so there's been all of that stress going on and and so um, that was one thing and that was just the most recent uh, we are still in the process of trying to find a new home health aid for my husband we had a lady she was great but she also worked for another company and got a promotion and so you know she had to take the other job so right now I don't know if you guys are aware but uh, the home health industry is 
hurting for employees like a lot of businesses are. So we did get transferred over to a new agency. He got to meet a nurse from there. And so he's gonna have nurse and physical therapy, but they are searching for an aid. Um, it's, it's hard. Um, now he has come so far. I know a lot of you followed the videos and you remember clear back to when he wasn't even home, when he spent eight months in nursing home and hospitals. Um, you know, so, you know, he, he still needs some assistance. He still walks with a walker. Um, you know, he needs some assistance just to, for safety reasons in the shower and, um, you know, and food prep and, you know, to just basic things like that. And he has been doing really well and, you know, he'll, he'll help fold a basket of laundry and, and do things like that. He just can't carry it because he walks with a walker. So, you know, it leaves me, um, more busy than, than, um, than a woman my age should be, but here we are. So, um, so it's been a few weeks now without an aid. So then, you know, it's work my job and then come home and then I got a lot of stuff to do at home. And when I sit down at night, I am exhausted. So therefore very little video making. But I know that all of this is temporary and that all of these are normal life problems that a lot of people have. So I just try to hang in there, do the best I can. And unfortunately, throw in, sorry if it's too much TMI to my guy friends out there, but throw in some menopausal hormones on top of all that stress and you've got a mess some days. Some days are better than others, some days yeah, some days I just want to cry, but, and sometimes I do, but thankful that, um, thankful that I have God and I have my faith and, you know, um, I have a place to run to. I, um, I can cry out my eyes before God and sit down and read the word and pray. And it really does lift me up and help me feel better. Um, and I know that, God has everything in his hands and he is taking things, taking care of things and working it all out and it will all be fine. But, you know, our humanness and our emotions, we sometimes don't feel that way. So I just want to sit down and share that with you guys. And that's why I haven't been making a lot of videos. I do miss it. I miss you all. Um, maybe sometime I'd love to get my husband to jump in and do a live with me and maybe tell his story um, that might help inspire some people. Um, so keeping with uh, the fact that this is a low carb journey channel, I am also going to tell you that this stress has been really hard on um, the diet. Now I would say 80% of the time I do great. I can go, you know, a few weeks stretch um, and do really well. Last Friday, um, I did not do well. Last, we have a guy, wonderful guy that brings donuts into work every Friday. And every Friday, I'm usually able to say no thank you. And I usually tell him I'll take a smile instead and he'll give me a smile. Uh, this Friday, I was looking as he's bringing the donuts in and I think he saw me looking and he's like, is today the day? And I said, yeah, I think so. Got a donut. One donut, not going to kill you. Uh, doesn't even mess with some people, doesn't mess up their diet or anything. Me being a sugar addict, that donut led to potato chips, which led to candy bars, which led to anything and everything bad for me that I could eat all weekend long and I do it and I feel physically horrible my stomach kills me oh gosh within a few hours a day every arthritis pain in my body comes back and I feel horrible um, but I continued to do it all weekend thankfully thankfully i was able to monday morning get started back on my diet and do well so i this is wednesday and i three days in a row 
not eating any sugar, not eating the potato chips, not eating the candy bars. Um, so I would say I'm staying low carb, sometimes in the keto realm. Uh, that's about where I'm able to maintain right now. Yes, I would like to lose more weight. I would like a stretch of something stricter, um, you know, something closer to carnivore. But right now I'm just surviving and I do better when I just stay off the sugar. So, um, you know, let me know in the comments if you guys are struggling with things as well. If you're, you know, if you want some prayers, um, I'll be glad to do that and keep us in your prayers. We are still trying to figure out all these things and I know everything will work out, but um, I just wanted to stop in and say hi and let you guys know I really do think about you guys and I look forward to spending more time with you again in the future. Love you all. Goodbye.